guys, so today I am going to show you La Lune with the um, special gems, the stars, as well as the gilded crystals for the moon, her crown, and the stars. <laughs> another version that you can also do which is with electric diamonds so for this kit for a size 50 by 50 for la lune it will come with one full vial of electric diamonds and that is for you to use on certain areas in the painting to make it look like it has even more stars so let me show you first the version with just the gilded crystals and the stars as gems. Here it is. Isn't that pretty guys? So if we look closely, those are the stars. They're actually gems. Right here, those are the gems that we've placed on the canvas so it really looks like it has stars in it. But this time, I think I'd like to experiment by adding specks of electric diamonds to make it look like it has specks of even tinier stars in the sky. <laughs> removing about 20 pieces of regular drills and replaced it with electric diamonds. So let me show you first how it looks. It's not yet finished, but basically this section does not have any electric diamonds, this entire section. But this section does, and let me see if we can see that. 
and see the difference. So this side does not have electric diamonds. We see that all the stars glow the same way. But over here, where there are specks of electric diamonds, do you see how some are flashing and then sort of turning off and then they light up? Kind of like how stars twinkle. So I think that adding electric diamonds in just sporadic areas in the background will just give it that nighttime look, like a truly starry night look. And the more electric diamonds that you add to it, the more magical it's going to turn out. So I think I'm going to continue. regular drills that we have for La Lune with our electric diamonds. I've already placed almost the full amount of this vial so we've got just a few more left and so um, it's up to me really how I would like to do it if I'd like to add more but just so that you will see how it's done it's really easy. All you need are tweezers. If you don't feel comfortable using tweezers to pick off the beads you can just actually use your drill pen, the single tip one, and simply pluck it off the canvas like so. So it's very easy to do and now that you've taken that part out, all you need to do is replace it with your electric diamonds. So we've taken that piece out from here and now we're going to replace that with an electric diamond to create that star. So these are the tiny stars that we see on the canvas. And these are the bigger stars that are actual stars placed strategically on the canvas. So I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm satisfied with the kind of starry effect that I'd like. I just um, drew the curtains so that we can see a little bit more of the sparkles of the electric diamonds and also of the gilded crystals and the actual gems that are shaped like stars. And we can see that in the background, how there are different levels of um, sparkle. There's the bigger sparkles, like for example, these ones have bigger sparkles. Those are the actual stars that are gems. And then there are the stars that are made up of gilded crystals. And then there are these ones that are more like specks, kind of like the tiny stars that we see in the sky um, that's not really twinkling, but it's just like a, a speck of sparkles. So I think this gives it a lot of dimension, a lot of depth, and a lot of sort of, um, you know, realism to it, where it really looks like the night sky. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,